So yeah, I uh, just got back from the doctor. They said I got the flu. Damn. How you feel? Damn. Um, I kind of, well, it started yesterday, but I had like the chills and I was like, oh, this Ooh. is not good. My throat hurt. And I was like, oh. Is it going to mess up your vacation plans? Your girl already paid for everything. And we going out the country for eight days. We leaving tomorrow. <laughs> so <laughs> I went and got them drugs. I was like, what, what y'all got for me? What y'all could do for the flu? Um, I got the drugs and I'm going to wear a mask. I'm going to be responsible in that way. But I'm still going because none of this is refundable. So <laughs> and if I ain't got my family sick and I'm with them 24-7, then I think, yeah. the few, you know, a few hours I'm going to be on a plane. A few hours I'm going to be mm. in, you know, I think other people will be fine. I'll just keep my mask on. Where you going? Okay. To the Caribbean, like two different islands in the Caribbean. Super spreader island. That's what she headed to. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that, please. Don't I hate when because I am one of those people. Like, how can people just go around be sick and like? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, not looking. But, but I'm okay with wearing a mask literally everywhere. Like, I'm okay with that. So okay, all right. That's, that's I'm serious. I you know, and I'm really good at like you know sanitizing, hands clean, and as long mm. as I have my mask, I'll be okay. Okay, all right. Well. Look at, this Look at this judgment free zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, no full of judgment from to here. I mean, what, what you want me to do? I have, and then I feel then, you. I feel you. I mean, when it's when it's non refundable, it's like, ah, you got to make a tough decision. I got to do it, right? And at this point, it's too late to even like cancel for if I wanted to push the uh, hotel back and the flight. Like the hotel, I would still have to pay the, the, yeah. the first night. It's too mm -hmm. late for that. The yeah. flight, if we pushed it back today, I would have to pay all the change fees. So it's like, man, I'll be honest with you. If, mm -hmm. if, um, if them people's immune system ain't strong enough to handle your flu, they can even be outside. This is how you separate the, the weak from the strong, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, that's so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's so bad, Lance. <laughs> Shredding off the herd, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's yeah, man. It's, we got too many people in society anyway who ain't strong enough to handle a little bug. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, how about, <laughs> I don't know if you saw my video. You know, it was a trend on, on TikTok where you text your kid something like, hey, uh, a detective might call you later on today. You know, just say I was with you all last night or whenever. Whenever, whenever you want to tell them. So I tried that with the kid. Right? I was like, hey, when you get out of work, uh, a detective might call you. Just say that I was with you all last week. I didn't leave the house except to take you to and from work. All right. She responds, huh? And then she sends like a, 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 a number of letters. I don't know what it's there for, if it was just like a pocket text or something. Uh, and so I was like, <laughs> I doubled down. I was like, they aren't going to ask you anything specific. Just say to the best of your knowledge, I was only at home except to drop you off and to pick you up from work. She calls Farron and was like, <laughs> screenshots that and was like, I don't know what's happening. I'm freaking out. Farron, I didn't put her in on a joke. So she was like, have you tried to call him yet? She's like, I called him with straight to voicemail. She's like, okay, don't go home. Don't talk to any of your friends at work. Don't say anything. Just stay there. We're going to figure this out. So she calls me panicking. What's going on? You talk to the kid. I was like, yeah, it was, it was a joke. It was a it was a prank. I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> she over here was so scared pissed. for her life. Mm -mm -mm. I was like, these kids, these kids are soft. They yes, soft. They I'm thinking she gonna say, I got you, Dad. Don't worry about it. The favorite daughter. Soft. As fuck. Soft. That's what I mean. What do you expect mm -hmm. from these kids? We stop letting them go outside to play. I mean, it's like we didn't like stop letting them go outside. Dope. They stopped going outside to play. No, we stopped making them go outside to play. Yeah, he what beat my you people? on the video, but you blue. beat him coming in the actual Zoom. Because mm -hmm. I was trying to fix something, and then when he got here, I panicked. So <laughs> I ain't know a button to push, but Bless I technically did beat Pat. So, no, mm -hmm. 
Both yeah, of y'all. The video, you, you beat him on the entry to the Zoom. I, 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 yeah, I still won. I won. Uh-uh. Um. <laughs> hey, y'all. What up, y'all? What's We're happening? just talking about how soft Tahir's daughter is and that I also have the flu, but I'm traveling tomorrow. Yeah, she don't give a fuck about society. Hey, when was the last time you took a, a like a dope charge for somebody? Me? Huh? Anybody? Oh, never. Because we wouldn't be done free. That, never oh, done nobody that. else did that? That's oh, just you, I know, I know. Hey, hey, Lulu. Hey, shout out to you, man. Lance, you did that too? Huh? You did that? Come again and say what? Oh, so Lance, you- not farewell in jail, guys. Lance is bow legged oh. and pigeon toe. He like to wear really. He like to wear super tight is jeans. For bad I'm pigeon toe. Did you take That's a charge a for one of the one of the Sacramento Kings? <laughs> I'm not even on the court. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, we need you out there. We need. We need you. <laughs> No, I would never do that. Me neither. You never take a charge for nobody? No. No, you know not to get me in no crimes. I'm a saying like a bird. I'm gonna tell all your business. Don't don't put me I in was, no crimes. I was young and I, and I was it was my boyfriend. So I was like, I, I guess I gotta do it. This What's is what young? I gotta die means, man. What's like, young? 28. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, for real. How old were you? No, he meant on the 28th. This was three weeks ago. <laughs> uh, I was 16. Mm. Wait, you, you took the time? charge? Well, you know, the, the officers was really nice. Well, what was it? Was it a weed charge or a gun charge? What was it? Um, I don't want to disclose this on the okay. Did you go no, in? Did, did you go in though? No, nah, because the dude I was with, he was uh, known in the neighborhood and uh, had a nice conversation with the police. So, I was Ooh, like, dang, you was, so you was dating ghosts, is what you saying? Or a snitch? And <laughs> ghost was a snitch as well. <laughs> <laughs> he had a nice little conversation with the police. Yeah, he definitely, he like, definitely why'd you make that menacing? <laughs> so. <laughs> You know, he had a nice little talk with the police. Uh, Otherwise, uh, no, he's snitching. <laughs> Things mm, said. Mm, mm. Nah, he was he was scary, so they were like, "All right, we'll let her go." I mean, he was known in the neighborhood, and um, it's Queens, you know. So, what does that mean? That. You're not, you're all you're not from Queens, New York. You're not from Queens, right? No, but I was living in Queens at the time. I'm from Brooklyn, oh. but I moved to Queens when I went to high school. And that's why I'm at him. I'm so confused. Known in the neighborhood. So I'm read between the lines. So he a drug dealer, whatever. So he had put money in a cop's pocket. And the cops was like, all right, cool. Got it. Okay. Why are you had to like say it out loud though? Well, because I'm not, because I don't yeah. understand. And there's some people like me who don't. We've all seen yeah. narcos, right? You you could you could <laughs> just say, no, that's not true. That's fine. But this is what I'm taking from it. Okay. I'm this taking from it that this is a good place. To start the show. <laughs> Ain't that well, we got like minutes? five more minutes, girl. Ain't that your time? Ain't that your line, Tia? <laughs> Don't you be saying that? This, well, this yeah. is a better place to start the show. Hey, listen, I ain't want to step on your toes. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to, you know what I mean? You might need to get that off your chest. You might need to <laughs> get right with God. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who's You're been still? to jail in here before? We already know you've been. Damn, you went to jail. No, I didn't. I've been. To, yeah, you ain't never been to jail. Oh, oh, he worked in the jail. My bad. My bad. Oh no, I've been. I've been to jail. He's both. I ain't never been both. processed. I ain't never had my fingerprints taken or anything like that. If you don't, if you don't do that, I don't. I feel like it don't count. I did. I did all of that. What was your? What did you go in for? So I was Lance. Yeah. So, um, who like the real nigga? Hey, you know what? Hey, I got into an argument with the judge in traffic court. Oh, so God, that was the worst reason you could have said. What was so, the traffic violation? So, look, there's a, there's a street. It was um the, it was on the corner of um Laguna and Franklin, I think. Anyway, there was a, you know, when they had, when they used to do the cameras on the, on the lights. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, on this light, it wasn't even about running the light. It was like, if you're 
if you didn't come to a complete stop behind the white line. So if a piece mm -hmm. of your tire touched the line, say cheese, nigga, because they snap in that picture, five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So five hundred. I mean, five hundred. My last mm -hmm. name W. So I'm at the end of the thing. But you know when they say if your case is at twelve, you got to sit through the entire day of people mm -hmm. and no exaggeration if it was 80 people in front of me 79 of them was for the exact same light at the exact same corner the exact same thing as me so when i get up there i'm on some uh some uh goddamn fred hampton shit i'm like man this is a setup you think all of us forgot how to drive and one day <laughs> it's clearly something against us this is clearly a setup, man. What you think? You think so we all just, he was like, one more word out of, out of you, Mr. Woods, and I'm going to hold you in contempt. I don't give a fuck if I know contempt. I don't know what contempt meant. I, <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. So, and that's why I, I don't give a fuck about, like I was. And that was your opening <laughs> argument? Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a setup. You think all of us did bad? Yeah. <laughs> it's a course. At the same thing. But you got to remember, Pat, like, I, I, I've, I've always had like a really bad temper. Um, it's controlled now because what? But like this was before all of that, so I was just like really like a hothead, and I'm like, man, fuck all that. Like I'm really talking to the judge like this, so I didn't know that in these courtrooms the judge got a button under that bench, and he pressed that button, and seven cops came in the room. I didn't know that. He snatched me up like a goddamn cartoon character. Did your feet go like this? That's what it felt like. That's what, what it felt, felt like. like. That's what it felt like. So then they took me, they took me, they took me to the jail. And the most fucked up part about jail is when you they make you unlace your tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. And you know when you got your sneakers laced, right? And now when you get out, you gotta try to relace your sneakers. And <laughs> that shit ain't worth it. That's, that's not the so that's, that's, that's the most that's the most uncomfortable part about you you don't like not your record being stained right right you gotta oh, lace them having to never even saw that as a bad part of jail hey man i'm <laughs> telling you hey hey to hear every comedy club i've been to they never asked me have i been to jail and it was like oh no nah, you can't work it that's that's fair that's fair that's yeah. fair. Wait, what happened in jail though in so, traffic jail so no no you go, i went to real jail but i didn't know See, I didn't know that when you go to jail, so there's jail and in prison, right? So everybody who's on their way to prison goes to the same jail. I did not know these things. So I thought I was going to like, you know, like holding, argue with the judge jail type shit. Like I'm in like no, with murder. What you mean argue with the, you think there's separate jails for separate and offenses? Yes. Yeah, I thought it was like, oh no, nah, he's over here with the, no, I'm in there with Eddie, the This is argument Eddie jail? Hill. And <laughs> Well, you know, on yes. TV shows when they put you in an empty cell and then there's just a sleep cop at the desk. <laughs> nah, that, that's because you don't know nothing. All you know about there's just one key on pack, and he got the key on the belt. Like on a big ass ring, and you try to stand. <laughs> Let me try that to jail. Your hand out. So when, when you in when you in the cell, because I I never went upstairs, so I never had to go change. I I didn't go through the whole process. I went straight from processing. To the holding tank, to the release, to the release tank. But that shit was I was in there for like fourteen hours still. Damn. Mm. And when you in the when you in the holding cell, it's like you and like between three and five people, and it's a phone right there. So it ain't like that one phone call thing. But you don't. I got in. I I knew two numbers, and one number was nine one one. I can't call them. That's why. That's why. Why'd I'm you here. even include that? <laughs> right. <laughs> Only numbers I knew. One number. <laughs> what if the one number he knew was his phone number? This nigga's yeah. calling him like this nigga won't pick up. I got my number and the police number. Two months, two niggas who can't help right now. Oh both, man, both listen, are the problems. This is and about when you in jail. Out, everybody's he... a lawyer. When you in jail, everybody is like, they, "What happened?" Oh, you'll be out in no time. And you'll be sitting there like the nigga, why are you still here if you got all this information? <laughs> you should have paid that 500 <laughs> You had 80 people to watch. <laughs> could have just paid the 500 At that time, I don't think I had the 500 Yeah, that's a good reason not to pay it. Uh, yeah. This is a good spot as any for us to jump right into the first topic of the day. Shout out to our special guest of the 
today. Uh, we got Lance Woods in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Then we got the OG squad, Meg School, Lulu Gonzalez, Patrick Cloud. I'm to hear more. We're going to jump into this first topic right after this. This episode of Squadcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Look, when I'm in large social settings for too long, your boy needs to recharge. I don't mind being in those settings, but I need time to regroup. Whether that's going back home, resting, chilling in my car, watching some videos, sleeping, whatever the case may be. And look, maybe you're like me. Maybe you need that time to recharge. Maybe you're not. Maybe you love being around people. You actually get more energy being around them. All I know is therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. And that's why I love therapy. It's helped me understand, like, look, I know what I need around me. I know how long I could be around people, and this is exactly how much I need, and I need to reset right after that. And I'm fine with setting that boundary. Therapy is also helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself, and it isn't just for those who have experienced major trauma in their lives. What I love about BetterHelp is that it's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. If you're thinking about starting therapy, I suggest giving BetterHelp a try. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash squad today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D. First topic of the day we have, would you rather be haunted by a ghost or be followed by a stalker? What kind of ghost is this? What kind of stalker is this? Let's <laughs> let's set the stakes. Uh, <laughs> both, are, both are annoying. Like, like the ghost just be knocking shit over while you try to sleep and just, you know, turning on the blender, leaving lights on while you're trying to get good sleep. Just annoying shit. Not really scary, but like more annoying. And the stalker is like, you know, popping up at places that you at, you've already, you know, asked the person to leave you alone. They're not doing anything to you, but it's very uncomfortable showing up at dates, showing up at personal engagements, all that type of stuff. But that person can go to jail. The ghost. You need like a, a priest. I don't think yeah. but can they go to jail <laughs> if, Ouija, if they haven't actually done anything to you. Like if the stalker's not doing anything to you other than annoying you, I don't think you can get like a restraining order. Can you? I think Ill you can because it's like a harassment, some type of harassment. Yeah, charge. Mm. I mean, just, that, just me, me personally, I don't, I don't do ghosts. I don't do paranormal activity. <laughs> I don't do none of that. So give me a stalker, and I don't give me. It, I don't care what you said. A stalker doing, I'll take that over the ghost mm -hmm. any day. But what's In so bad about day. ghosts? Ghosts, man. What if it's I, an listen, evil ghost? What's understand. so good about them? It it's not going to be an evil ghost. It just it could it's be just an evil. Annoying. How you know? How you it's know? It's just annoying to hear. Just set the rules. Yeah. Okay, but, what if the go but that's what I'm saying. So now you're doing stuff, and Ain't nobody no else good, can see. Ghost. No one can see like this ghost. You're going to think it's you doing this stuff. The ghost is turning on the blender. Hey, bro, don't, nah, nah, nah. How, how you turn, you, you ain't even got no thumbs. How are you plugging in stuff? No. Well, that's, that's true, because the, the stalker's at least not in your house. You right. don't know that? Like, nah, she, look, she can look through the window, but she won't come in the house. She won't do <laughs> the entry. Is that not, that's the charge. So Damn. then you can file something but against it. that's not fair, because these ghosts are going to be in my house. Yeah, but they're not everywhere else. So they only in the house. I'm in my house most of the time, though. What so. if I'm ooh? They gonna move with you. Nah, it's attached. The one in the one in the box. They attached to me only when I'm in the house. Yes. yes. So, so they have to go like this. I'm never gonna house. be home. <laughs> yeah, right, man. You don't be home. No, I'm I've not had annoying ghosts ghost before. It's no, not you that saying they're like a dog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, you had you had ghost pet? Yeah, I grew up in a haunted house. Did you really? What what the, um, How do you know? Like, what happened? La laundry list. That nigga threw my battleship across the, the room. Uh, that was your it was, brother. It was, was stomping brother. around. No, I was by myself. It was. It'd be. It'd be stomping around. It'd be making noises on the roof. Uh, the most annoying thing was uh, every day at the same time at night, I would wake up and hear something in the kitchen. And when I went through, I just like heard like somebody going through the drawers and the cabinets and like moving around silverware and stuff like that. And it got so constant that I would wake up here and then go back to sleep. You had roaches. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy handed roaches too. Not regular. Wait, roaches. did you did you ever Those go downstairs to see what was like? Did they open the drawers? Were the drawers all open? 
No, they were never. It was just like it was just like noises, and then we would hear like breathing, footsteps, uh, stomping, just like stuff like that. It was it was a poltergeist. So I personally oh, never man. saw it. My brother saw a little kid sitting on the bed a couple times, and some guests saw that. But um, and y'all didn't burn the house down. No. Nah. Did, Did you your parents ever see anything? Ouija boards make things worse. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't see movies. <laughs> did you, did you your parents see like they friends in with the Ouija board? My uh, <laughs> my dad, everybody in my family saw it, which is why I was like, okay, cool. It's not one of those stories where it's just me and I'm crazy. But uh, my dad saw it last, which was very because he was the one like the no nonsense one. And he was just like, well, shit, if there's people in here, they better start paying rent. And I was like, we got them. <laughs> 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 he believes it. <laughs> that that's the only good thing about a ghost. Because if if I got a ghost in the house, then I can never get caught cheating. What the ghost ain't gonna tell on you? I'm the ghost everything is that happened. Yes, everything that happened. That, how, what the fuck? Why is this empty condom wrapper in the thing? That fucking ghost again. I told you. We got to do something about this ghost, man. So you be dating like idiots. <laughs> or or you live in a, uh, it's like a Scooby-Doo mystery. They like... <laughs> why would a ghost wrap it up? Hey, if she yeah, goes for the condom wrapper thing, yeah, up. she might be. <laughs> all, all she got to do, all she got to do, listen, if the ghost is plugging in blenders, why can't he unwrap condoms? How and what? For birth. what purpose? Because who was he having sex with things like electronically and stuff like that? That's how they talk. Why would the he TV. be plug- What ghost want a smoothie? If Maybe I'm a ghost, I'm a little smoothie. Don't want right a smoothie. Smoothie. He's just touching stuff. What Lulu says is that they trigger electronics. He's not just at there like, all right, do I want to do grind? Do I want to do blend? Like, <laughs> I want a bowl. Not, like... He's not making nothing. It just it triggers. That's why niggas like their phones be dying. They be having them little wee 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 wee. wee. Or oh, the girl got sucked into the TV, man. Hey, getting sucked into the TV. Hell yeah. That's like yeah. a porn channel. That's right what there. I'm saying. Yeah, everything. <laughs> Who's paying this is these? That ghost bringing these bitches over here again when we go? Hey, this is unrelated, but have y'all been seeing those memes? They they wild. They like, you know how the girl in the ring climbs out the TV? They've been making like a thick ass girl be climbing through the TV. She'd be like, crawling out and the booty be up in there and they'd be like what would you do yeah. <laughs> would y'all would y'all smash a ghost <laughs> imagine having a ghost and a ghost baby how you gonna explain that, <laughs> that yeah he won't stop huh. crying you hear that no <laughs> that's terrible that's worse than a human baby <laughs> then you really gonna be a deadbeat cause you be like I a crying invisible baby uh, you, only, you only see your kids when you sleep <laughs> that's crazy, damn you have to be haunted to be a good dad <laughs> <laughs> I ain't slept in three days it's child support when I go to sleep <laughs> they keep taking all my money that's a Show premise. <laughs> <laughs> ghost. I, I wouldn't smash. I'm not touching the ghost. I am afraid of all of that kind of stuff. I don't even do scary movies, bro. Really? No. Absolutely not. I don't, I don't either anymore. Movies. I watched two yesterday. Bye. I don't I watch scary movies. movies anymore. Anymore. Absolutely not. Like, I watch them at like one in the morning, two in the morning. Like that's nah, nah, y'all nah. are sociopaths that's, because I go to bed to first forty eight. I love that. Yes, shit. that's called trauma, girl. You need oh, to deal wait, with that. but y'all be watching forensic files and and murder mysteries oh. and, and, and again and reality shows. I just shows. Saw, I saw oh. this lady was talking about it. She said if you find like first forty eight homicide, true crime, if you use that to go to sleep, and that's like calming to you she's like it's because you've dealt with a lot of chaos in your life no <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not putting that on like rain sounds to go to sleep i'm going i'm putting it on to watch like everything else i don't put on friends no no, no. i'm like... saying if that's what you put on as like you're like you're oh this uh, is like my relaxing my, uh, stuff i like to it's watch not this relaxing. Like when i'm relaxing it's, this, that's my good night shows it's either yeah, nah, that means like, you got trauma day. girl that's it's, uh, it can either it just depends on what I feel like. It's either Simpsons or First Forty Eight or like a murder mystery or something like that. All, I like the to only, shit out, man. The only scary movie I watch is like Twelve Years a Slave. 
That is pretty scary, I guess. I I, I never thought of it as horror, but I'm yeah, sick of slave movies. Like I can't keep it's the same thing. I saw Roots already. That was seven tapes long. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's terrible. But, but that, you know what? That's why I can't watch. I don't like true crime here. because it's always the same outcome. It's always no, somebody they knew. No, it ain't. It's usually yes, it is. It's no, usually it ain't. a husband, a, no, it's it's a spouse, or somebody no. in their family. Low key. No. Usually. No. no. Low key. It's, it's so it different. Is. I remember. I remember this one forensic files where this white guy pulled into a gas station and he was giving this black guy a ride and. Uh -oh. In the midst of giving him a ride, the black guy uh, never gave him a location. And he was just like, yeah, just a little bit up, just a little, little bit up. And so the white guy was like, oh, something's weird. He's trying to like follow me home or, um, you know, rob me here. And the guy ended up trying to kill him while he was driving. He ends up running out of the truck. The black guy runs out of the truck too. He's trying to chase him and hit him with a tool. The white guy manages to get back in the truck, takes off. But he didn't want to go straight home because he didn't want the guy to see where he lived. So he drove around for a little bit. The black guy, just by happenstance, happens to find the man's house, breaks into the house, kills the mom. The guy goes to jail for killing his own mom. And then they find out years later- His that own mom? Huh? His own mom? What do you mean? The guy, because when the cops came, they assumed that the, the dude did it because he lived with oh. the mom. He went back home and he called the police when he got home. And of course, he picked his mom up. Now he got blood on him. So they, they had him in jail for this crime until they found a black guy. All his family, then they abandoned it. They abandoned him, turned their back on him. It was like, how could you kill our mom? This dude had nothing to do with it. And the black guy just happened to find the same house. That was that crazy. Sound right. He happened to find it. How he happened to find he it. He knew it, that dude. Yeah, it's a, no, it's a, it was a rural area. It was a rural area. So he was like, you know, like in Kansas City, Kansas. Like, it's all like formal. I feel like, so, I feel like him becoming racist is like, reasonable after that <laughs> that's you said, you said that's a word, pretty you said crazy. A happenstance what does that mean why what does that mean that's a word though huh you said I, like, like by chance right yeah okay. happenstance is just like by chance by chance that happened so, i never heard that before you never heard happenstance no nah. they don't say that on the east coast no, nah, that'd be you like by, big by... words to hear i see your vocabulary growing let you me, ain't even me, stutter let me on google it google this word it's, okay it's, I really can't believe y'all ain't never heard Happy Sands before. We heard it. Just Lulu ain't heard it because they don't say that shit in the Bronx, B. I'm not from the Bronx, B. I didn't say you was. I said they don't say it in the Bronx, B. We know <laughs> you just happened to you say a different from. place. Where the fuck I'm from, that land? You from New York. Where? <laughs> New York, New York. Uh, so where? he shot in the dark with Bronx. Huh? <laughs> where? You just said you from Brooklyn. There we go. I know. You just said you from Brooklyn. What you was from Brooklyn? Brooklyn. from Queens. East you New York, Star City. Queens get the money. You feel mm -hmm. me? <laughs> Shout out to making it. Jamaica, Queens. Brooklyn keep on taking it. I know what y'all want. Know what I'm saying? Shout out to Star City. Shout out to Southside Jamaica. Shout out to Farmers and God Brew. Shout out to, uh, yeah. These are all the cities Lulu got jumped in. All the neighborhoods. That she I ain't never get jumped. <laughs> never. Never. Hey, I want to I wanna go golfing with Lulu. Come on! They ran, they ran Lulu out of all those neighborhoods with with burning Timberlands, like on Never, <laughs> never, never. Mm -mm. Wait, Lulu, oh, if we go golfing with you, we got to do the full eighteen holes. I mean, yeah. I mean, you how long, does, nine. how long does that take? It's a day of fun, Meg. Stop worrying about how long it takes. It's a day That's of a fucking fun. You eighteen drink alcohol, holes. You do mushrooms, you have a good time. You play music, mm -hmm. you get us some cigars. Hey, mushrooms on a golf court is crazy. You said what? <laughs> That's crazy. Doing they mushrooms on better golf or worse? Course. They got a brand. <laughs> they got a brand. There's a company that's uh, hitting up a whole bunch of golf influencers. And they're um, little kids. Yeah, they're tablets. That's, listen, that's what I'm telling you. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Good golf be lit, <laughs> All the oh, I thought y'all was golf just with. golfing. Now you adding all the, the fun drugs. Okay. They got they got the mushroom gummies. They got these mushroom pills. Um, and then there's a cart girl who's literally driving around pouring drinks. Mm -hmm. Like people are taking shots like every two, three holes. Like that's crazy. It's so that's much fun. Not seen okay. That, all right, well, let's hey. put it to a work. I mean, let's put it to a vote, guys. What are we going with? Going with put, it to a twerk? <laughs> put it to a twerk? Go ahead and put it to a twerk. Let's put it to a twerk.
Go ahead, you start it off, T. Yeah, you first to hit trick that thing. Now, now you know you do better than that. You your hips. Throw that, you ass, your throw that ass in a circle. Oh, you start hitting them with the crossover. Okay. That's the little Kim. This? <laughs> yeah, while you twerking is crazy. Look at the unathletic. Look at the unathletic. <laughs> Put into a vote. We going with the the hunting ghost, or we going with the stalker? Which I going with? Stalker. I'm going with stalker. the stalker. Stalker. Have, have y'all had a stalker before? No. Yeah. I don't think I had one. Thankfully, no. Yeah. I know you, you ain't had no me. stalker either. Don't don't see her try to tell us that, Lance. You ain't had no stalker. Well, he was in jail. He had a stalker. <laughs> Who was stalking you, Lance? I didn't say I had a stalker. I said I know. Who, who was stalking, stalking you? I got a stalker now. Don't say it like that. Hold on, no. Hold on. Time out. What that? Wait, what kind of stalker you got? What kind of stalker? Yeah, like, what I, is it? Like, I got a couple stalkers. She come to all your shows or he come to all your shows? It's probably your auntie because you ain't come over to the house for dinner on Sunday. I don't know. All right, right. all of these are bombing. Uh, <laughs> Looks like the stalker has it on that one. We're going to jump to this next topic right after this. Next topic of the day, we have, would you rather be jailed every weekend for a year versus yeah. five hours of community service every day for two years? Wait, say that again? Every what? weekend for the rest of what? So you have to you have to be jailed every weekend for a year. Like so you, you go, go in Friday, yeah. come out Sunday? What's Sunday? Uh, like Friday night to Sunday night? Yes, Friday night to Sunday night. Okay, that's every weekend for a year. Yep. Or and what's the other one? The other one is go do five hours of community service that one. every week. I mean, every day for two years. Five hours every oh, day? That's, that's my job right then. Now. At least you could have fun during. If you pick the right community service, you could have fun. There's no way to just go turn What's up in jail. What's fun community service? Five hours every day for two years compared to jail. Like, what is fun about, is what I'm asking. You about I, Mon I Monday to Sunday, a flag football team or something. Like hey, seven days a week. Pass it. To like you inner city youth up, or some shit. Pass it. If you ain't never picked up cans on the side of the highway, you don't know what you're missing out on. <laughs> What about like working with like like a flag football team or something like that? That's community service. You, you don't even know how to like... play football. I can learn. He sews the flags. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Meg. I was on the football team in my high school for a brief period. You yeah, weren't you on the football team. That was I was. I was, like third, I was third string wide soccer. receiver. That was called remember soccer. That he, remember, he said he got hit so hard he picked up the tuba or some shit. <laughs> tuba. Uh, it was the piano. And yes, I got hit so hard I joined piano class. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not going back to jail. So you weren't in jail. I, damn it. Hey man, he was I, I for 40 jail. hours. He was in jail. I got teardrops. I did my. I ain't telling nobody. I did my time. I got teardrops. No sir. Real <laughs> nigga all day. You got teardrops from Visine. You ain't got no tattoos. Give me my. Give me my. Give me my community service, man. You know what I'm talking about. Let me. Be, let me be. Let me. Let me be a positive influence on my community, on my neighborhood. What kind of? What about. kind of? Which one are you doing? What community service are you doing? The one that's not in jail. <laughs> no, which one that you? That's good just one. pick one. What are you doing? Removing graffiti. Nah, B. I'm not doing that. I like to put that <laughs> shit up. I'm about to. I'm not removing. That's art. That's just, uh uh. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. I can't. I can't undo hip hop like that. Facts. Mm. <laughs> hip hop. I, I I go. I go talk. I go talk to some kids at some schools. You know what I mean? Tell them don't be like me. Be better than me. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about. You don't want to live this life. You know what I'm talking about. You don't want to spend 14 hours in jail. On your head, you know what I mean. Don't Type tell shit. them so. You know what I mean. Three that would work. You that would definitely work on the youth. Yeah. I would do. I Maybe. would feed the homeless every day for two years. For five hours, you wouldn't get sick of the homeless. Well, because I like to cook, so <laughs> if you give them something, super spreader, man. <laughs> right. This has yeah. turned into a job now. Like right. that's what I'm saying. Basically, it's it's absolutely a job now. Mm -hmm. Wait, every day, including weekends. Yeah, yeah, every day. Nah, every that's weekend. weeks too. Weekends too. Nah, this yeah, shit don't even out. Yeah, you go to jail then. It should probably be like a year and a half, I guess, because 
if you go to jail from Friday night to Sunday night, that's about 48, something close, close to that. See? And that's 48 hours every week for a whole year. Okay, so five hours a day. Am I me in this situation? Like stand up comic me? Like mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. better better knock yours out in the daytime, baby girl. So you know. I was gonna say the weekends is when we work. Like exactly, I got shows on the weekend. Forget like, the shows. You're in jail. Why is nobody talking about the jail part? <laughs> listen, I wouldn't mind. Listen, I could do a weekend in jail. Like for the whole year. Yeah, it's like summer camp. Like you go hang out like, with your friends. You got you got to go to jail. It's a new times. pop every weekend because people be getting processed and they going in and out. I, I would move. be in the same jail, so the regulars would know me. They're the like, all right, let me see you on Friday. The regular cops would know you. <laughs> you going to jail fifty two times? No, the whole the whole jail doesn't change people. It's gonna be a regular jail. I'm gonna be in regular jail with the regular people, not in a holding cell. Yeah, they might put you in the same spot with the holding cell. Hold on, don't act like the hold cell like we're real niggas. Nobody do a holding cells for the weekend, b. We not. That's not. You know what I mean? That's a bunch of real niggas. That's bookings. We talk. You gotta get in and in, in there. You know how many push ups I did in that holding cell? It could be your last weekend of the year. A nigga knock you out six niggas in a row. Jail is whole year is ruined. You said what? And yeah, what y'all not talking about is holidays. So what if you got like, what if like a uh, Christmas or whatever falls on the weekend? That's cool. I'm gonna get get nobody no gifts. Like I could chill. <laughs> because you were like, oh, what'd you do for this Christmas? I was in jail. You want to be in telling jail, people? <laughs> Why would you put none on my books? That's crazy. You have books in jail? Isn't that just prison? Nah, yeah. I didn't notice. You got commissary. You still can get commissary in jail. Yeah. In jail, Lance, uh, yeah. did you get commissary in your fourteen hours? Nah, nah, because I, I was, I was, you know what I mean, standing strong. I don't want no fool. Get that peanut butter sandwich the fuck out of here, homie. <laughs> I ain't eating nothing in here, man. Hey, someone sent that nigga a trumpet. <laughs> oh, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's just a, it's just a it's a little weekend. It's, a little weekend. It. it's not a weekend. It's fifty two of them. It's every weekend, Lou. What the hell? You can't get it's, scarred by community service. Yeah. It, all it takes yes, is you one can. weekend. What if you find something you ain't supposed to find while you picking up them cans? What if you get jumped every single day that you're in jail? So three days a week you get because they up. mad at you because you get to leave in a in two days. Right? They, they ain't gonna jump me. No and way. then you got you got like a whole bunch of studs on your ass from Friday to Sunday. <laughs> That's my <laughs> normal life. Uh, <laughs> trying to beat you up? No, nah, they be trying. Like, you sure you don't like women? Like, nah, man. I'm like, I'm like yeah, I get it. But no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all changing you time. Your mind. Like, you sure you don't like? Mm -hmm. They be like, yeah, hey, you, you want to try it yet? Like, no, man. <laughs> I got this one homegirl for like 20 years. She'd be like, yo, oh, you want to give it a go? Like, these dudes ain't happen. doing you right. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm never going to be that girl. I'm never <laughs> let it go. Like, I'm just eating pussy for fun. You know what I mean? I'm not really like this. It's just, just trying some shit out. Like, no, man, I don't want to. That's not me. Oh, I get it. But you no. think it's that bad on the outside? Think about how it is on the inside. They're going to be like, we weren't asking. <laughs> 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 then you gotta then you gotta try to have a regular Monday after seven studs spitting your butt. <laughs> <laughs> a regular Monday <laughs> You cannot have no regular Yo, Monday. hey, cause hey the crazy part is if that's your reality, like Come Thursday, you just depressed. You can't even enjoy your time out. You just thinking about what you got to go do this weekend. <laughs> it's like when you got to go to work, like when you off on the weekends, like what Sunday at like four o'clock, you be thinking like, man, uh, yeah. deal with these motherfuckers tomorrow. That was school shit sometimes. It was like a Sunday afternoon hit, the reality hit, you got to go to school the next day. Like, fuck. Yeah. Uh, 
I did not you, like you it. be sitting there Thursday night like I gotta fight these bitches off again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. People could be like, why the long face, Lulu, every Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, man. Just getting ready. <laughs> I know. And then how you gonna do your shows, Lou? You go on from Friday night to Sunday night. But that's why I ask, is this like me, like regular me, like stand-up comic me, or is this like a version of me that doesn't regular do that you. right? Well, of it's course, you. I'm not gonna, I can't give up the money. I can't do that. I Why can't. is it about the shows and not about the jail? <laughs> they don't want to braid your Jail ain't that bad, I guess. If you know you're going to be out in two days. That's what I'm saying. It ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. Uh, you could, but you're coming, back, but you coming right back in five days. I feel like it'd be good for like character. I'd be like, okay, this is going to help me fight better. No, no, it's not. I promise it's you. Martial club. arts class. I got to be in there. I gotta be ready to go Friday. I would Sunday. appreciate life more, you know. It's like when I was in the military, we had drill on the weekends. I, I would do the same shit. You you know, it ain't cardio. You're fighting for your life. It's not a workout. Uh, not- that's when you need. That's like the best practice, right? So your heart rate is top life. tier. You know, it's always like it's a hit workout. Well, that's why. That's why energy. you need to go, Pat, so you can learn how to fight. I'll take a martial arts class. Thank you. No, you, you don't know how to fight. You not. I don't want my you know, booty on the line. Martial arts in real life, never. But yeah, when are you go uh, fight an attacker off, probably yeah. all the time because you're frail. So you should go to jail for the weekend so you learn. Can you imagine Pat in jail trying to do karate on a gang of niggas that's about to jump him? He was like, "You're not gonna like this." He puts his hair up to the chopstick in it. <laughs> Oh, you say like an action star land, line, like this ain't going to end well for you. And then they just whoop my ass. <laughs> like, and, and, damn, that works for Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> he said he's going to wrap his hair up with a chopstick because he thinks you can have chopsticks in prison. Somebody like, going to take a dread and make a necklace out of it. Of the That's joke, a it was just a That'd funny visual. Crazy. Nah, I'm making a shiv during processing. <laughs> you got out of what? Your cloud is right up in his bird's nest up there, girl. They can't Never find nothing in there. Nah, you know, when's the last time you've been in a fight? Pat? I watched. Huh? When's the last time you've been in a fight? School. What, what <laughs> kind of school? Like college okay. school or like elementary middle, school? Middle school. College? <laughs> Who's school? fighting in college? Me. It could be college. <laughs> Be in college fighting. Niggas pay to be there. Yeah, so, got, what they got to do with a fight? Got, that's I just like the club. I got locked up from college, man. They were shooting they at my college. Fighting in college. Mm-hmm. What'd you the say? The fucked up part is you went to school online. Who? <laughs> that's your reality, oh, Lance. Everybody else don't, don't have to go to school online. <laughs> I actually I got in one in fight college. in college and I sprained my wrist. You say what? You, you did fight in college? I did. Yeah, I got in one fight. It was like a, it was like a brawl because my friend was getting a beat up. brawl. And I sprained, I sprained my wrist. And it was funny because this is how I knew I wasn't about that life. The only one I got in trouble with was my piano teacher and my African drums teacher. <laughs> I was like, man, this is, this is not, this is not for me. <laughs> oh my god! I got scolded by two musicians, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm not fighting anymore." <laughs> this and you, and this you doesn't match with. my life at all. This nigga Pat got picked up, bailed out by his scout leader. His parents still don't know. <laughs> my parents don't know. All, all, his, the all his mentors were mad so at him. Ashamed of you. <laughs> That's so funny. Rolling knuckles. Come on now. <laughs> They took his peace badge for Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> You're not peaceful. <laughs> hey man, one of them. Well, that's I mean, head. that's not too bad because the only one and only fight I've ever been in in college, I reactivated my chicken pox the next day. What? what? Yeah, when you when you have chi- when you have beat a plague pox. into you. <laughs> no, no. They beat the vaccine out of you. They woke up with no because box. I didn't. Wait, did y'all have chicken box? Or was y'all in that? I think the vaccine I came out. Beer. I had it when I was like in preschool, though. Right, right, right. So me too. I had chicken pox when I was like four. My mom said I didn't get it that bad though. And so once you have chicken pox, it lives on the, your nerve endings like forever. It's just dormant. And so, but high stress like trauma. 
anything like that or like a immunity, like low immunity can trigger it to reactivate on your nerves. And I didn't know that. And so I remember after getting in that fight, I had like my adrenal, adrenaline was pumping for like four hours. Like I was like, like for hours, like ready to go. And then the next morning I woke up and I had chicken pox, but as an adult, it looks different. And it, the doctor said it wasn't shingles. I think it was shingles. Cause that's usually what it turns into once you're like 50 or 60 <laughs> and it happens again. Did you win the fight or lose? No. I would say I won. Nah, the girl you know the type of up. shit I would be talking yeah, like, yo, I beat that bitch into chicken pox, yo. Yeah. Like, I shingled her up. I, yeah. sh- <laughs> I, beat, I beat the polio in that hoe. I beat the smallpox out of that hoe. Like, what? Woke up with a pirate disease. <laughs> <laughs> scurvy. <laughs> scurvy, but no, I won't. It's, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's no way you won that fight if you woke up with a dormant disease on your face. Yeah. <laughs> you, you woke up in an oatmeal one. bath. <laughs> it was terrible. It was it was terrible. <laughs> How long did you have right, it though? Let's put it to a, let's put it to a vote, man. Let's put it to like a two vote. Weeks. I'd be like, yo, like, call me Dr. Two weeks? Gonzalez. I think it was like a yeah, I think I had it like two weeks. Oh yeah, you lost that fight, low key. You lost. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take the L because my face was scraped up. You absolutely took the L. Mm-hmm. Absolutely took it. Let's you put it to take a the L and the antibiotics. <laughs> <laughs> Jailed every weekend for a year versus five hours of community service every day. Community for service. Community service. I'm going to service my community. Pause. <laughs> community service. All right. You should now notice with the community service. We're going to jump into this last topic, going right into it. Would you rather only be able to watch a movie once versus listen to an album once? Watch a movie once. I feel like I I usually get it after that. And then you're like, that was cool. And you could talk about it. But an album is like, once you hear a favorite song, you want to kind of play it a lot. Mm-hmm. Music has maybe more reef play value to me. Yeah. So I, hold on, because I'm, I'm, I want to make sure I'm understanding the question. This is you only watch one movie for the rest of your life or you only hear no, one no, album? No, no, so, no. So every movie you watch, you can only watch it once. Or every album you listen to, you can only listen to it once. That's crazy. Nigga, pass you the ox. You can't play nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't play you gotta stuff. play new stuff. You ain't never yeah, you play new stuff. So this, this is what makes Does the question like tough. It? Because we live in a playlist era now. So mm. people are snatching songs off the playlist and putting them on different things. So it's like, there's not, I still listen to albums a lot. Like I still mm. press play on an album and let them rock. But that's not really. What's happening? And it doesn't right matter now. if they pull a song from an album that you already heard. You can't hear that song because you, you heard that silence. album in the entirety. That song was on that album. It doesn't matter if it's on the playlist. If you already heard it, you can't. Your playlist has to be new every time because once you heard a song and or an album, you can no longer hear it again. Then you can't even you can't even go into Target no more. Can't go to Target. Can't go to the club. Nothing. No, you can go there. You just don't hear nothing. The wizard makes it so if you've heard the song before, you ain't gonna hear it. It's just silence. See, sometimes, sometimes I drive in silence. Me too. Mm-hmm. I I do yeah, that. Yeah. I need that me yeah. time. Yeah. Sometimes a lot, I, a lot of a lot of serial killers do. Yeah, I, I always got music on. That, that's great. No, no that's crazy that you is, can't ever have silence. When you when are you listening to nothing? Exactly. You, listen you, to God. Get off listen Zoom to with you, man. outside. That's, <laughs> when 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 my girl is talking, that's when I really just listen to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say that driving, the shower, there's like a whole bunch of places where ideas come better because you're by yourself. Yeah, but nothing to do. you're not listening to anything. Yeah, I get some of my best ideas when I'm driving in silence. I get to just like it's just pure concentration. And I'm I don't I'm a movie head. Like I will watch I would rewatch a movie like really. Matrix? I love. I'll I'll tra- throw that on right now. John Wick, Dang. throw that on right now. Let that rock. Um, so Keanu you know, Reeves right, movies mostly. Movie. Yeah, <laughs> speed. Reeves. So speed as well. Okay. Speed too. And, uh, <laughs> um, speed too. No, I said speed. Like also. Oh, I thought you was like. <laughs> no, he thought it's speed too. It's just He's Sandra not. Bullock and some other dude. Right. That's. I was like, man, what? What's wrong with you? He only did speed one. 
Yeah, she yeah, too with some other dude because she got a new. So the story carries on through her, not through Kiana. Yeah. Uh, I would, man. I would, I would have to do the 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 movie, even though I got some movies that I, I love so much. But I would just have to remember them. But music is too much a part of my life. Yeah. Wait, I is it just movies or is it like movies and TV shows? He said movies. It's movies. Yeah, it's, yeah, just it's movies. movies. Yeah, just movies. So you, so you can still keep watching Breaking Bad. Yes. So if it's just movies, then album, like singles and EPs count, right? You can re-listen. Nah, to music is different. Hey, man, I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you what the wizard said. And by the way, all of these topics were pulled from the audience. These are all audience submitted. So Hey, nah, nah, shout out to the viewers and the listeners. See, we listen. Put it in mm. the comments. Yeah, but what what's the what's the movie that you can just watch? I think everybody got this movie at least once. If you just flip in the channels and it's there, no matter what part of the movie it's in, you just gonna yep. stop it and just let it rock. Yep, that's Matrix. What movie? That's the Matrix. See, I'm saying Matrix, man. When I come on, I stop. Any Jim Carrey movie. Any Jim Anyone? Carrey movie. That's fucking fantastic. Yeah, I like that too. I like that. Yeah. Pe- Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. That's a great movie. Listen, Bruce, even the sleepers like Bruce Almighty. Bruce Almighty is. I love Bruce Almighty. That ain't no sleeper. That's a, that's a hit. Liar, liar is five stars. That come on, everything stops. Cable guy. What about about you? What's your for me? Go to movie. You said you said me. Meg. Oh, Meg. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really I, rewatch stuff. I don't like to rewatch stuff. But there's some movies have, that I needed to because it was too like what? Like I had to watch Inception like three times. <laughs> so I, I was like, hold movie. on, I'm not getting so they're going deeper and deep. Like there's like movies like that that make you think I do have to like um the sixth sense I had to watch multiple times. Mm-hmm. So you ain't never watched a movie that you thought was so good it was like, yo, I would watch this again. No, I mean, like the color purple. If it's on TV, I'll watch that what? again. Right. You suck. <laughs> Whoa, what? there's so much judgment right now. Of everything okay. of everything that you would repeat again, like put on that color purple. I'm trying to go to. Sleep. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I don't. Really re- no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. What I'm saying is, I don't really repeat movies. I like to watch new movies because if I've seen it already, the only movies that I repeat are like the thought provoking. Like, wait, what happened? Like I watch, I rewatch those because I didn't get it. Like I, I rewatch Ready Player One like yeah, ten times because there was so many good things within the movie that like mm-hmm. you start to see like oh and when you watch it the second time like oh okay cool I know yeah, they that made that suck. reference and it has a lot of references to other movies mm-hmm. so like I like watching things like that but those are things that like this so it's done so well like you should rewatch it like this is a fucking classic right here. Right. No, yes, there's too many movies in the to. world I haven't seen, so I'll go watch is, those. Uh, paid in full. Mm. Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> it's mostly Soul Batman. Plain. Soul Plane? All blackity black Pants. movies? You said Dark Knight? It's not a blackity black movie? That's Batman. It's dark. Batman I mean... black. Yeah, dark, Batman right? movies by Christopher Nolan are black as hell. You can barely it's see dark. anything that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> the movies be so dark. I tried to turn the volume up, thinking it's gonna it's gonna make it bright. Right. <laughs> right. The whole tone dark. of the movie is dark. Right. And, yeah. and and Ray and Ray was dark for him. What was that? Were you swatting a fly, or was that like a Ray? He movie? was being blind. No, no, oh. it was, no. It was like a like a fly. Oh, yeah. He was being blind. <laughs> blind people don't do that. <laughs> what? Ray is blind. Why is he swatting a fly? I can't see nothing. I was like, did Ray slap people? But up? you can like, hear the fly buzzing, though. No, no. Literally, just something just flew past me. Oh. He was just a, yeah. He made the joke and then he he swatted at a fly right after. Yeah, it, it all happened. Like it. In, yeah. Insane. Yeah, I got it. In 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 conjunction. Consecutively. 
I, f- I feel like I would have to start really paying attention to movies because sometimes I'd be like l- doing other stuff, looking at my phone. So if that's the one and only time I could ever see it, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough, especially for like psychological thrillers where you kind of have to watch it twice. You have to pay yeah, no. I can't, and I don't like watching movies where I'm not paying. If I'm not paying attention, I just put it on pause. Like no, because I can't miss mm-hmm. this. I have to be like focused on does the it, movie. Does this include documentaries too? If it's, Damn. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's technically a movie. It's just a real, true life movie. Documentaries is full of shit. What? <laughs> what? What documentary are you talking about? A Did bunch you see of the new one on Netflix. Who, who hurt you? Who hurt you? No, I'm telling you, Jay. I've, I've been watching how they're doing these documentaries, and documentaries are becoming the new way to just put out bullshit. But it feels so true and so real. It's like, nah, this is how people say, this is how people act like they read books. They watch documentaries and then try to sound smart. It's like, nah, nah, nah. That's some bullshit. What if it's a documentary on like a killer? That's not really going to help you. This is, this is, and this is why I say it's bullshit because a documentary has to have all sides. These are people telling a side of the story. So imagine if we all, us four, uh-huh. Made a documentary about Tahir, and Tahir had nothing to do with it. And we're just telling these Tahir stories. It's not a documentary until Tahir got something to say about it. No, nah, that's just surviving Diddy. <laughs> what is it if they don't? If the if the subject isn't in it? If the subject isn't in it, it's a true crime. And what if the subject is dead? Yeah, that happens too. That yeah, a lot of times it happened because. They wouldn't have been able to say that shit if there was a lot. So then that did that disqualify the validity of the though? documentary? For me, yeah. Absolutely. This is documentary. Watch this documentary on Netflix. <clears throat> it's uh about this disabled dude who had a facilitator help him speak. And she said that they fell in love. Um, but he wears a diaper. And oh, I saw this on the the banner. I was like, this uh, man. Uh yeah, so he was like, cracking you tell him or something like that. And then, he, but he don't speak. And then when somebody else tried to do the same thing, like communicate the same way she does with him, he didn't say nothing. And he didn't. And he was writing book reports. That's what they said. He was in school. He wanted to take classes. And the, even the teacher was like, "She's." I, I don't believe he wrote it. But <laughs> you gotta watch it. It's good. It's a good documentary. They were smashing. Yeah, she said they were in love. Documentaries are interesting. Like I find, but I, I be watching them. I be like, nah, I got, I got to hear. Isn't that the purpose? The They're interesting. <laughs> but I be having to hear both sides of the story when it's a documentary and it's only one perspective. And I'm like, mm. but why? Well, what is her side of this? I'm well, sure sometimes this they don't be wanting to speak. They be like, we reached out to them and they offered no response. Blah blah blah. But I, but I, to me, that was what makes a good documentary because I actually just saw a documentary last week, and I didn't like it. Well, I didn't like most of it because they didn't provide that side of it, like a, the opposing side. But other documentaries yeah. do do that, so it's not like the whole genre is trash. <laughs> No, I'm saying I'm saying a lot of when I watch documentary now, that's how they like push it. So it'll be like I can just make a documentary about these events, and it's like, but if we don't never get that other side, then this doesn't really count to me. But can't you still be sued if it's completely made up? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. You mm-hmm. can. No. What's what's that? What's like fair 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 game call something like that? They got all kind of clauses. Not if it's absolute complete bullshit. You can't yeah. like just yeah, out can, there. Yeah, you can sue for defamation. That ain't fair game. Not, yeah, hey, it's, it has to be some level of truth or evidence to standard, even come yeah. forward with that. When, when you watch something, that's why that's why those things come on that say these are the views or whatever based on true events. No, nah, you can't just make up lies, bro. You can't just do that completely. Like can't I got make this up idea. Lie. Are you American? <laughs> that is true. People do be putting out some BS, especially some Fox News. It. Some truth to it. No, it it be some truth to it. Some, some. some. That's what I'm saying. It's not like it's complete. Like, oh my God, it's completely fake. There be some truth to it. I'm not saying it's all true, but there's some truth to it. 
some some truth to it. And it, yeah, and I don't like it. Let's make a documentary. What y'all want to make it on? Can we vote? <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it to a vote. What was the topic? Only um, be able to watch. Album. Only be able to um watch a movie one time, or only be able to listen to an album one time. Album. I'll take the album. Wait, I'll would you only oh, hold on? Wait. You're saying would you only want to listen to an album once? Yeah. Would or... you Would you rather only be able to listen? I mean, only be able to watch a movie once versus only be able to listen to oh, an okay. album. Watch a movie once. Watch a movie once. Yeah, listen. Yeah, to watch music. a movie. I would only be able to watch the movie. I got music. I need, too- I need my music. Music is too instrumental to my life. I need that for too many things. So I can't go without music. Like, has it. My favorite album. Yeah, and you've been making them sex playlists too, so you can't you can't lose that. You say what? You're making them sex playlists too. You can't lose that. Pat and Lou, y'all sticking with only watch a movie once? <laughs> no, I'm and I said I only listen to an album once. Only watch a movie once. Music has too much replay. So nah. uh, Lou, you you can go without music? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the movies have it on that one. We we need our music. Uh shout out to our special guests. We got Lance Woods in the battle. Building. Shout out to our OG squad, Max Scoop, Lula Gonzalez, Patrick Cloud. I'm to hear more, and we'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace, guys. <laughs>